When you decided to come back um, last year, it was Big 12 player of the year. I mean, do you have individual goals, even if you don't talk about them publicly? Did you kind of have a checklist of things you'd like to accomplish or hope to accomplish? Uh, for sure. Um, that was one of my biggest thoughts is, you know, coming back and, and, and getting everything that I wanted to do and, uh, you know, seeing how well Osh I did when he came back. It's kind of like my same kind of goals and aspirations as far as uh, any individual accolades, so of course. And how did you find out and who did you tell first? Well, I think Coach told me when I was when about to go to the gym or something, and uh, I just called my parents, you know, school. And when you, and as a game like Texas, you've got it wrapped up. They're kind of, I don't know, can my play in a Super Bowl? Is there, are you, I don't know how to say that. Are, are you, are you guys, I mean, knowing that you have it wrapped up, is it easy to go in there and maybe not perform at your best? Or are you guys going in with the same mentality? Or how did it, that kind of game play out? Uh, well, we were trying to wait because we were trying to get the number one seed uh, overall. So uh, now we have to go to the tournament and, and win that. You know, that's going to be if you get the number one overall seed in our in our uh, favors. We playing close to home and stuff like that. So no, we're definitely playing for something uh, as far as in Austin. And uh, you know, we've never had just like the I've never liked Texas like that. So I always want to beat them whenever I can. So that was, but but both of those teams kind of played into it. Jaron mentioned that as being one of your goals. When you hear that you've actually achieved it, what's kind of just your reaction in that moment? Uh, it's just a blessing, um, you know, knowing all the hard work I had to put in uh, before the season at home when I come back to school, and uh, you know, I'm grateful for the for the award. And now it's just it's time to continue to go out and win more, and uh, you know, improve while while we all had our awards. Because you know, I think the whole team. I mean, as far as the starting five got awards, so it was great. Guys that usually win Big 12 Player of the Year have their jersey retired. I guess what does it mean to you to have that potentially there for you um, down the road? Uh, it's everything. Uh, I remember coming here on my visit um, and just seeing all the jerseys up there, and uh, you know, kind of just envisioning myself. You know, just like man, I wish I could you know be a part of that one day. And uh, you know, four years later, just do a lot of things. Um, I'm blessed to say that I had an opportunity to do that now, and uh, you know, it was great. You know, seeing all those guys up there that are. Hall of Famers up there, and uh, you know, just to be a part of that, that that group up there would be special. So. Hey, thinking back to Ochai last year, same deal. Um, he he kind of took us back through conversations he had with Coach and maybe his parents about the decision to come back, and and Coach laid it out: you can do this, 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 and this. Same type of conversation that you had. Did you guys, you and Coach Self, talk about this goal and and how it could be achieved? Well, I just told him, uh, you know, coming back, I just wanted to to have, you know, of the full year, you know, like I told y'all when I first came back, I just want to, you know, play a full year and uh, just leave it all on the, on the, on the line. And, uh, you know, I, I told him that I was going to come back and, and be the leader and, uh, you know, lead the team and, and just be confident in my play. And, uh, you know, if those rewards are out there, why not want to achieve them? And I told him, I just, I'm going to go for everything that I can and, uh, you know, win as well. You know, not it's not going to be good to, to get any awards if you don't win. So we're doing both of those things and, uh, you know, he, he knew exactly why I came back to school and, you know, to be in this position now, uh, you know, exa exactly where I want to be. There's seven players that have led the Big 12 in scoring and, and rebounding in, in a single season. Um, four of them have been here. You're one of them. Uh, did you, did this season even exceed your expectations as far as the numbers and things like that? Uh, you know, I kind of related to the, the championship. Like, you know, you always say you want to win. You put the work in to win. And then, like, when you're doing, you're like, whoa, like I actually did it. And it's kind of like the same thing. Like, you know, it's always great getting that. But uh, once you do do it, it's like, man, like we really just, that really just happened. So, you know, cause it doesn't happen too often, you know, just like a national championship, uh, just like, you know, winning a player of the year, you know, they're, they're two things that are so special to me. And, uh, you know, once it happens, it like, not that it doesn't feel real, but it's like, you know, you work for four years to do something like that. So it, uh, it's kind of surreal. DeWan, defensive player of the year in the conference. But honorable mention on on the teams. Mm -hmm. Does that math add up for you? Do you think he deserved more? Uh, uh, you know, Juan's Juan's so used to, to getting counted out that I think it just drives him even more to be the best point guard he can be. Um, I don't know how he could even play the year, but don't make one of the teams. But you know, that's just how how our, uh, how people I think view us. You know, kind of just always pushing us to the side as far as things come like that. And uh, I think it just fuels us more. You know. Uh, I'm sure none of us will care about any of those awards uh, after winning another championship. So it's like, we, we all these accolades are cool, but uh, the team, the team goals, kind of mean the most in the end. Yeah, along those lines, you mentioned it a little bit too. All five of your starters 
did win something. Uh, what does that say about this team and, and those five guys? Special, special. Um, you know, it's it's not always about one person. No matter if you're a senior, freshman. I mean, for KJ to, to do all what he's done this year is incredible. He deserved that award uh, fully, and it just shows kind of just the hard work and, and preparation we had during the summer. Uh, you know, when the most improved player doesn't just come out of nowhere. You know, you got to put in a lot of hard work, a lot of confidence, and I see him shooting all the time. Uh, if you haven't noticed, he's getting. Super comfortable shooting that free throw line jumper now. I mean, he did off the dribble last game. I mean, it's just, it just shows us his work ethic. And, uh, you know, you just go down the line of everybody. You know, we're all just clicking on, on cylinders as far as what we want to do. And, uh, you know, next, next up is going to Kansas City and winning that. So, Joe, you mentioned KJ. Would you have been surprised if he did receive that yeah, order? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see anyone else um, who it went from. I don't even know how many minutes KJ probably played. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I would say five minutes total the whole year. I mean, and then now he's starting center for, for Kansas um, and a conference champion. So I, I didn't see any other player that deserved it. And you mentioned going to the number one overall seed. Is that talked about a lot among you guys, or is that unspoken understanding that, hey, this could fall to you guys? Uh, no, I, I mean, I think it's something that we all push for. Um, <coughs> who wouldn't want to cut down Nets in Kansas City to go, you know, to go to the Final Four? I think that's something special. Um, I don't know if that's ever happened before uh, as far as with, with Kansas, but, um, you know, just being so close and not to say it's going to be a home game because whoever will play in that position will, will travel well. But, you know, I just feel like, you know, why not want to play in Kansas City and why not, you know, want to do it here? And I feel like it just kind of just was lined up perfectly for us to do it. Just got to go do it. Got to go win. Jalen, not many wings that I can remember uh, have an off night shooting from the perimeter and you go 21 and 10. Uh, just talk about that. Is this kind of developed more this season? Have you always been that kind of guy? And, and being able to do that, to get to the line, to get in the paint and, and rebound, to help your team in so many ways when you're not making shots? Uh, you know, that's just the, the role of being a leader. You know, if, if I'm not making shots, I still have to find a way to help my team win and, and put us in a, in a position to win. And, you know, I know my game is not all about just, just putting uh, – put the ball in the rim, but playing defense, getting rebounds, uh, hustling, being vocal, you know, getting guys the ball, playmaking and stuff like that. So, you know, I've never really just held my hat on just scoring on it because, you know, you get to the next level, no one's just gonna put the ball in your hands and, and tell you to go score. You gotta be able to, to help it and, and put the game in, in a different place than just scoring. And uh, I feel like scoring is not, not, not just necessarily not important, but it's just not the overall goal as far as the game. You know, got to be able to impact in different ways. So that's just always been my mentality. And to piggyback on the earlier question, the, the team you play on Thursday is going to be playing for their, you know, their NCAA lives, um, which will be talked about as being more motivation than you guys just moving up from a second overall to a first overall. Can you talk about being able to 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 counter a, a team that's going to be so motivated that you're going to play on Thursday? Uh, you know, kind of just like how senior night was, uh, Tech was coming here trying to try to beat us so they can get into the tournament. And, you know, it just comes down to who wants it more and who's willing to do more. And um, I think uh, some people may not realize how important it is, but it is important for us to get the number one overall seed. I feel like just as far as how much it can help us, uh, it won't win us anything, it won't guarantee us anything. But um, I know I want it. I know the team wants it. So uh, it'll just come down to that. And, Who's going to make the plays to win? Jalen, coaches are uh, fond of uh, concepts like uh, uh, playing with joy or playing with a free mind. What do those ideas mean to you? And has has your concept, your, has your understanding of those ideas changed over the years you've been here? And how do you put those things into action during a game? Uh, I think playing with joy has been the biggest one for me, especially this year. Um, come back knowing this would be my last time playing in the field house. Like, I just wanted to cherish every single time I had. And, uh, you know, I kind of just made it a point to always be smiling, uh, never want to be down. Uh, regardless if I'm, I'm playing on the bench, I'm getting foul trouble. Like, regardless of what's going on, just try to find the light in everything. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time, you know, if, if, a, if a camera's on me or if the attention's on me, I can't be pouting about anything. You know, there's nothing to be pouting about when I'm playing for the, for the best team or the best team. Uh, best fans, like it's just nothing to be sad about, and I've kind of just, especially uh, built that this this uh, this year, as far as just taking taking pride in, in what I have in front of me and understanding that, you know, 
God can take this away from me at any second, so why not just just be happy out there playing? And uh, you know, coach is, is big on that. You know, personality, energy, and happiness and joy playing. So just just trying to be the the, the front point as, as far as just you know showing how much that means to to all of us. Because I feel like when you play like that with a free mind and playing happy, that uh, you know, you're not thinking about last play, and you're just thinking about you know what you can do to win this possession. So that's kind of what it is. Thank you. Anything else? Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jalen.